fast asleep. Yesterday had been a busy day. His friends from school had come to tea and they'd all played games until late. On the animal shelf, Timothy's special animals were fast asleep. They'd had a busy day too. Gumper had had a very busy day. He'd been thrown about by Timothy's friends, got lost under a chair and missed his tea. Is anyone awake? No, we're all asleep. <sighs> I'm awake. Ooh, ooh, and very uncomfortable. Uh, good morning. Oh. <clears throat> Maud Gorning. Hmm? Ah, hmm? Pardon? I said Maud Gorning. You all right, Gumper? N no. Rumthing is song with me. Oh, oh, wake up. Wake up! Ooh. Something's wrong oh with Gumper. Goodness me! Gumper? I'm fracked to bunt. Look at me! Oh, oh no! Gumper. What's the matter, Gumper? You're making so much noise. I now shiver pork properly again. Of course you'll talk properly again. All you have to do is turn your head the right way round. I don't cool that. I'm sure you can. That's rubbish. It's rotten rubbish. <sighs> Gore, Gumper. No one knows about me. Ow! Oh, now he's going to mulk all sawning. <laughs> I mean, he's going to sulk all morning. I am any, any vil. I deed a doctor. Don't worry, Gumper. I shall fetch you a doctor as soon as I've had my breakfast. Have you got a pain, Gumper? Hundreds of pains. Where are they? In time, Mummy. Him. That's your back. Oh, and in my back. <laughs> Breakfast, everyone! Oh, my George, oh, I would break breakfast. I'm sorry, Gumper. I'm the doctor, and I say, no food, you're too ill. You should be tucked up in a comfy bed. <laughs> Do you feel any better? I'm peri peri volley. I need thudgings to eat. Lots of thudgings. I'm sorry, Gumper, but the doctor says you must rest. Come along, everybody. We're going to the sweet shop. Oh, oh sweet shop! Oh, 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 bother. I'm fairly red up. I'm really fed up. No tea yesterday, no breakfast today. I'd love to go to the sweet shop. I thought they'd make a fuss of me if I pretended to be poorly. I thought they'd give me good things to eat. Perhaps Timothy guessed I was pretending. Still, <laughs> I know how to make them really sorry for me. He must be asleep. Let's have a look at him, Stripey. <gasps> no! Careful! Spots! Gumpa's covered in spots! He must have got the measles! Keep away! They're catching! Oh. Gumpa really is ill this time. A bear with measles must have very good things to eat, or he'll get weaker and uh. weaker. Thank you, little mutt. Thank you for the beautiful flowers. I sent flowers too. Thank you, woeful. <laughs> Thank you all for being so kind. I'm better now. You can't be. You but still I... have your spots. But... Measles takes a long time. But you I... must stay in bed until your spots but... go. Oh, no. 
Next morning, <sighs> Gumper's spots had vanished. I'm better! Look, I'm better! Hello! <laughs> I'm better! Hello, good morning, I'm better! Oh. Oh, hello, Gumper. Just look at little Mott. Look! I've measled in the night. Now I can go and be with Gumper. Little Mutt, is really having measles very horrible? Oh, no, because you get flowers and lots of good things to eat. But it did take me ages to paint on all the spots. Huh? Huh? You mean you're pretending as well? <laughs> oh, yes. I did it so I could come and keep you company. <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh, thank you, Little Mutt. Well, we shall have to wait until tonight and wash off your spots like I washed off mine, or we'll never get back onto the animal shelf. Oh, no! Shh! Wake up, little mutt. We have to wash those spots off. Then they'll let us get up tomorrow. I'm fed up of being in bed. So am I! Here, let me help. These spots aren't moving at all. Nope. Timothy's red paint should wash off. I mean, I washed off my spots last night. But it's not Timothy's red paint. It's red, wet stuff out of a bottle on his desk. You silly little mutt! You silly little mutt! You've measled yourself with red ink. That'll never come off. No! I will be spotted forever! Shh! I'm sure we can get you right in the morning. The other animals will help. Thank you, Gumper. Oh, we must have scrubbed Little Mutt's spots away by now. Oh, we might have scrubbed Little Mutt away. Oh, no, you haven't. I'm still here. And so are my spots. They're brighter than ever. I've got an idea. Splashing stream. Yes, there's something special about splashing stream water. Something magic. Then let's put Little Mutt in splashing stream. <sighs> We've been washing Little Matt from breakfast time to dinner time. He must be clean by now. Let's have a look. <sighs> no. We could dip the rest of him in red ink and make him pink all over. No, 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 no we couldn't do that. That'll what? never do. It was just an idea. If we tell Timothy what's happened when he gets back from school, perhaps he'll have a better idea. Mum says the best way to get ink spots off white wool is with some stuff called ink remover. It's a whole pound a bottle, so we'll have to work hard till we've earned enough money. We can earn 25 pence for shelling peas. What is shelling peas? Look, like this. Ow! There's 50 pence for weeding the garden path. Ow! Oh, stop! Oh. And if we tidy Mum's sewing box, there'll be enough money to buy the ink remover. Well done, animals. I think the red spots are all gone now. Thank you, everybody. That was very kind of... It's you! Oh, oh dear, what's no. the matter? Oh, what? oh, dear. I think I caught a cold in my nose for being washed so much in the stream yesterday. Then it's straight to bed for you, little mutt. Oh, no. Not again. I'm sorry, little mutt. It's all my fault you got a cold. I pretended to be ill because I was fed up and I, I wanted good things to eat. You pretended so you could keep me company. <sighs> You're a much nicer animal than I am. But I like you, Guppa. <laughs> Thanks, little mutt. And I'm sure I'll be... <sighs> oh, much better tomorrow. The next day, little mutt was much better and Timothy's special animals went out for a walk. Oh. I just thought, grass would look funny pink instead of green. Yes. Buttercups would look funny pink too. A blue apple would look strange. So would a blue carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mutt would have looked funny pink instead of white. <laughs> Little Mutt should always be white. But with a pink bow. And all the animals agreed. Special friends, special. The Timothy's special friends are.